Hi, so this is a video I was hoping that I will never do, but here we are. Um, I, because of my financial problems, I had to sell a few of my tools and I would like uh, to show them to you, ask what the uh, correct price will be for this and uh, help me in certain way to, to sell them. So these tools, they are some of them new some of them modified uh, most of them they are presents for uh, from my family towards me uh, because i actually receive uh, uh, in the last years every time on my birthday i receive a multi-tool it was easier for my family to not guess what i want because they knew for sure i want this so i would like to present you the tools and uh, to ask you to help me price them or help me sell them if you can. So, first of the tools is the Ladimer Surge Black Oxide Edition. It have extra scales here, as you see, the just some uh, 3D printed uh, gri grips and um, um, rubber lanyard that is of uh, uh, the artificial fingerprint uh, fingernail that it's helping you to to pick up the tools from inside uh, this uh, tool wasn't used uh, very much it uh, was actually staying either on my car either on my uh, workbench the one you see i'm filming on um, so it's almost new it's of the original pouch which has come with it this was never used the, the pouch so let me know how much do you think I should sell this for another tool is a victory Knox Swiss tool uh, I don't remember exactly how it's called ML, MLX something like that the one which is of the two 100 blades 100 opening blades is not very much used but it's have wear marks on the uh, uh, in here and they have uh, also a lanyard which in the to in uh, on one hand is have uh, this um, quadro screwdriver which is helping me pull the tools out of the multi tool is coming with the original pouch which I never used and also if you actually if you like I can even uh, give you or whoever wants to buy this I can give even uh, a pair of these scales which will allow you to actually uh, put some um, if you glue them on the multi-tool uh, will allow you to put uh, a pen and the tweezers. I will probably link in a description a video to if I if I find the video where I actually present this. So if you buy this tool or somebody buy those this tool, uh, I'm willing to put this as an extra in order to increase the values of the tools of the tool. And on this one, I actually have the box also, because to be honest, I didn't use it too much. Okay. This uh, Swiss Tool Spirit, um, I use some, some, I have some use, mostly around the house. Uh, doesn't have any wear marks or anything like that maybe some scuffs uh, on the scales it had the uh, painted uh, field uh, writing is have uh, the same as the other one the lanyard with the quattro screwdriver uh, in order to pick out the uh, the implements and also have the original pouch which i never used Now, this is Leatherman Dark Side. This I bought it. I don't know why the 
doesn't come out. This I bought it second hand from one of the my customers. I never used uh, this one. It's a very nice tool. I bought it with uh, 500 uh, euros and I hoped that I can sell it with uh, at least the same price. Uh, what I have done to it, I just put uh, this small lanyard and that's it. Uh, it's coming as you see it, just with the, with the pouch, with the original pouch and nothing else. And on this one I hope to, to get my money back, that 500 euros I paid for it. Now, this uh, is something I don't like to sell, but I have no choice. Uh, this is a pocket knife that I done for when I was uh, going outside, outdoors, in a forest. Uh, normally the pocket knives which are coming, I don't remember exactly the models, the name of the models. They have wooden scales from the from the ranger, uh, wood ranger or something like that. But is modified in order to have uh, two um, tritium vials, so one here, one here, let me switch off the light. You can see uh, there are vials and uh, this will make it very easy to to actually see it in the night when you are in a tent or somewhere you can uh, grab the knife uh, very fast because you can see it. Also the internals of the knife is not from the ranger wood uh, because I wanted uh, the blade uh, that it's one handed open as you see it here. Uh, it's also have the lanyard with the, uh, with the artificial fingernails because uh, if you have uh, your hands uh, frozen or gloves it's very easy to open the implements. And also the scales, wood scales, is have uh, channels inside done by me in order to have uh, um, in order to have the tweezers. Yeah, the tweezers, and I also have here. Um, I will not take it out. I also have here. Um, toothpick done by me which it's also glow in the dark in order to um, in order to help you in the night if you need it and also have the fire starter and the, uh, I don't remember how these are called but you get the idea please let me know this is definitely something I don't know the price because it's definitely it's worth more than any model, it's a combination of few models and they have these uh, tritium vials which are normally quite expensive. So let me know about uh, this, how much do you think it costs. It wasn't used too much because uh, of my uh, health problems, I couldn't go uh, outdoors too much lately, so uh, it wasn't used too much. Uh, this is a tool I normally I will not like to sell. But let me know how much do you think it's worth. And uh, now the last one. So the last one, it's a normal uh, cyber tool light. The only difference is from the new one, it's actually that they have this channel open, and inside they have a toothpick, which at the end they have a reset pin. Uh, you also find somewhere a video of mine about it. I will try to search it. And it's also have... Uh, so this is not used. It's also a present for my birthday. And also I have a pouch which is uh, very old. I don't know how to call this. Uh, I don't think you can find this kind of pouches which is uh, full leather. And it's actually matching... Uh, it, 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 this is coming from a model which it was before the cyber tool uh, but uh, 
I have it for a long time, I, for 20 something years, never used and as you see it like this, probably this is uh, some kind of collector stuff, I don't know. Tell me how much do you think I should uh, charge for this. Also I have the, the lanyard with the quadro screwdriver which is op uh, helping you to open uh, whatever implements you have without breaking your fingernails. And I think for this I also have the box for the cyber tool itself, not for the pouch. The pouch is way too old. I don't even remember since, remember since I have this probably 25 years ago or something like that. So let me know how much do you think is uh, if it's this worth. I also have uh, quite a few spares from Leatherman, but I will not. Uh, uh, put them here. I have for example the G10, red G10 from my uh, little bastard and uh, you see them a little bit whitish because they are painted with the uh, with the glow in the dark paint. Doesn't uh, glow too much in the dark but uh, it will help you to find the, the tool and also I'm thinking to sell this this is uh, charge G10 Earth, yeah, the the black one. Uh, this is have additional scissors put into it, and this have uh, max scales to to hold the bits. Tell me how much do you think is this worth with the scales modification or without them? Because I can put the scales back on this the original scales. Let me know how much do you think is this worth. So these are the tools I'm trying to sell at the moment. Uh, they will probably be some other tools coming. And uh, uh, just to let you know that I actually I told to some people, but I will let you know that I actually uh, found the shipping method for uh, companions which is much cheaper, for example, in the United States where uh, a lot of people were buying this, it was costing me, it was costing around 30 euros the shipping, depending on the states where I was sending. But now I find a, a method which will take only 80 euros. Uh, and also I decreased the prices on few of the accessories in order to uh, to sell some some of this, if you want, you can uh, email me uh, at this email and ask for the price list, updated price list. Otherwise, tell me if you think how much this I can sell for, uh, so you will help me sell them, if you want to help. I mean, nobody asks you. Nobody forced you to help me. So until the next time, may the tool be with you. See you later. Bye.